after you have defined or created the LDAP connector and uh, ensure that your that SAP is communicating with the LDAP system, uh, you can now go to the next step uh, to have the LDAP team uh, extend the schema to include the SAP related attributes. Now, in the previous demo, we saw uh, that you know we confirmed that. Uh, we are able to pull data from the LDAP system. Now, in order to do the user provisioning, uh, that is to create the, SAP, uh, the user IDs in SAP system that exist on the LDAP side, uh, the LDAP team needs to include SAP attributes in their schema. So, to help them extend the schema, you execute the program uh, the RS LDAP schema EXT in the transaction SA38 or SA38. This is the program that you need to execute uh, to help uh, the LDAP team extend and include SAP related attributes on the LDAP side. Now, the program name is RSLDAP Schema EXT. Click on Execute and you get the product field. Pick the, your uh, product, the LDAP product that you, are, you have at your location and click on Execute. Once you get this, uh, you'll get a schema file, schema in here. So this is going to include the SAP related attribute. If we scroll, scroll down, these are the screen, these are the attributes that we would need, the LDAP team need to extend or, to, or, or LDAP team needs to include in their schema on the LDAP side. Now if you really look very carefully, closely, all these are uh, the fields that are there in SA01 uh, transaction code. So for example, you have the valid to, valid from field, you have the language, you have the time zone field there, and then you have the date format, date you know, decimal format. Um, then you also have the user ID, the alias, the company name, the building communication type. So these are the attributes uh, that can be used to populate the uh, populate in the SAP system. But in order to do that, uh, these, have, these attributes have to be included on the LDAP side. So what do you do once you have this thing? Click on uh, the download and save it as a uh, LDAP.LDF file or uh, Whatever name you want to give, uh, so you can use test.ldf or whatever name you want to give. And then you save, uh, you email that uh, .ldf, .ldf file that you just saved to the LDAP team. How they extend it, uh, how they extend the schema, uh, that is beyond this demo. Uh, but I would assume that you will, they will use this command, ldf b with the syntax uh, to extend the schema. So, of course, uh, the values probably will change uh, depending on what the synt actual syntax is for them to use. But uh, this is what they will use. The LDF, FDE. Again, this may not, this probably is the command on the for Active Directory. If you have an iPlanet or something or a e novel this product or something, then the command may be different, may be different, but they'll have to extend the schema using the commands on the LDAP side. So yeah, so once you, so this is the file you send, you download this content and email it to the LDAP team and ask them to extend the schema on their side.